In this tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to layer with registration marks so you're getting a perfect result each time. I'll be doing both Cricut Design Space and Silhouette Studio. Just check the description below for the links. Let's get started. Hi guys and welcome back. This is part one of a three-part series. Uh, part one is how to turn an image into a layered image and save it as an SVG. Part two will be adding registration marks. And part three is cutting and actually layering our image. This is a chimney. It's the image we're going to use for all three videos. It's my daughter's favorite band character, I guess, <laughs> uh, from a band called BTS. First, we're going to close the page setup. We're not going to use that at all. We're going to go to the right hand panel and open fill panel line style panel and trace panel we want to start by getting the background layer of our image by clicking select trace area and trace outer edge you don't have to do anything tracing the outer edge is going to get you the background of your image that's all you want you want to select your background image, make it fill it black, and line style black as well. Now, I was going to do from the largest area to the smallest area, but when I did the yellow first before the white, when I tried to do the white afterwards, it recognized the yellow empty pieces as part of the white. So make sure you do white first and then you can move on to your other colors. So we're going to do trace by color, select white and trace and detach. You can move your image and you'll have the white pieces left over. Select all and group. And then bring back your image. At this point we would do the same thing that we just did, trace by color with the yellow pieces. But for some reason when I try to do that, it selects the background and it will not let, let me trace and detach. So we're going to remove the background first, select single area, and trace and detach to remove the background. Since the background is orange and the color I'm trying to pick is yellow, uh, they're too similar and it will not detach the yellow pieces by themselves. We can go ahead and remove the background. And now we're going to trace by color yellow pieces. We're going to move the tolerance until we only have the in inner pieces and none of the yellow of the background. And we're going to trace and detach. You want to move your image and only have select all your pieces right click and group now we're going to do the hoodie strings we're going to select all areas and go down on the tolerance to where there's only 
the hoodie strings. And trace and detach. Select them all in a group. Now to do the tuck, same thing, low tolerance to where there's only tongue left. We can select single area since that's the only thing we want. And trace and detach. With the glasses, I also ran into the same problem as with the yellow outline when I select trace by color and try to detach. It also attaches the inside of the glasses that I don't want. So what you're going to do is outline. and single area, bring down the tolerance to just the glasses, and trace. And you're going to do the same thing as you did with the background. Select them, and fill them in in pink. And that is how you turned an image into a layered image and you can go ahead from here and save it into an SVG. You can save this as an SVG by going to file, save as, save to hard drive, and go to the drop down menu to where it says SVG and select OK. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and also join the Facebook group that is in the description below. There will be a giveaway when we hit 500 subscribers. And also stay tuned for part two, which is going to show you how to add registration marks to your layers. Thanks, later.